I miss going to church and singing with people. Although, if I am in the back, they don't hear me, but I'm still singing. I'm just hoping they don't hear the 13 year old boy back there. <laughs> Cause that's how I sound. But that sounded better than normal just now. So I'm having hope. <laughs> By the time I saw her, she really was having a hard time speaking and swallowing. Uh, it was a challenging surgery in that we had to, to, where we cut just right to save enough tongue so she'd have some function, but make sure we got well around the tumor. The amount of tongue taken was so large that we had to take additional tissue from her leg to create a new tongue for her and optimize her function afterwards and give her as much of a tongue as we could so she could go ahead and be able to eat and talk. Dr. Califano suggested we take some of my thigh muscle to reconstruct my tongue. I was okay with that because I know for a fact you can build your muscles back up and that not being able to walk was only temporary. So we always do some type of reconstruction when we do surgery for head and neck cancer. It's an area where a lot of things go on, you know, swallowing, breathing, talking. Whenever we have a social event, when we go and go out and go out with family or friends, it usually revolves around eating. So those are very important things for people's quality of life and just how you feel about yourself and how you interact with friends and family. And during that whole period of time, Cynthia was provided with a host of a multidisciplinary services, so a speech pathologist to work on talking and swallowing, as well as a dietitian to work on helping her help her gain weight and stabilize her nutrition, and then some psychosocial services as well. I, after a couple of weeks, Walker went bye-bye, and I started holding on to the rail. And uh, within another week, I was walking on my own. So yes, I have a great big scar on my thigh, but I can cover that up with pants. And I have a new reconstructed tongue that is beautiful, as beautiful as anybody else's tongue. So I would encourage everybody to think for a moment of what life would be like. Grab your tongue with your teeth and try to talk without a tongue. Having a reconstructed tongue, it's very difficult to move your tongue around, to maneuver the food back. But I have learned how to do it. There's people that come into your life as patients and your mind is blown by their strength of character, their humor, their wisdom, and their willing to, willingness to fight. She, from the first day, was insistent that she was going to come out of this as a stronger, better person. Look at me. I have no tongue, and I'm talking. I'm eating, I'm drinking, I'm doing great. There is life after this surgery. Don't give up. Keep going. Be strong. Be stubborn. You can do it. You can't.